All right, so we're just gonna get right into it, but one thing I will say before I cover absolutely everything in this video, this is not a sponsored video by Hot Shot Secret. As you see, I have it in front of me, but it's just something I'm gonna talk about, and it's the products that I use. The other thing is this video is definitely opinion-based. This is my opinion on these products as well as the other products that I'll talk about in this video for you guys. Also, it's based on experiences. The experience I've had with diesels in the past, and everything like that when it comes to winterizing and winter gels and gelling up and all things gel, that is all experience-based, opinion-based. So I just wanted to make that claim right away in the beginning of this video for you guys. Now the first thing that I want to say is when it comes to anti-gel and icing up and gelling is the fact that I have used multiple things in the past of all of my diesels. Now when it comes to gelling up, uh, preventing yourself from gelling up, all the things that's going on, I have used multiple things in the past. I've used housed before. I've used diesel 911, I've used kerosene, and I've used hot shot secrets. Now when it comes to which ones did the best for me, there's a reason why these are sitting in front of me. Um, I actually had pretty good luck with kerosene. I don't remember exactly remember what the amount I used, but I used that for a while and I've actually had no bad luck with kerosene. It's worked really well for me in the past. Howes, for, for instance, though, unfortunately, from my experiences, other experiences may differ. When it comes to Howes, I gelled three times in one year. It was a terrible experience. Now, locally here in Wisconsin, I don't know about other, other areas in this country, other countries that there are, Canada. I don't know exactly what they do, but here in Wisconsin and the states, I don't know what other states do. Um, the local gas stations claim that they add winterized, they have winterized diesel, that they add additives to their fuel. Now, I don't know exactly what they're adding, um, and obviously don't trust it because I've gelled up before not using anti-gel and just trusting the local gas station. I've used up using house before I've gelled up. Um, and when it comes to getting gelled up, it's a son of a gun, you guys. I'll admit it is not fun. Um, the year I got gelled up three times is the year I switched to hot shots. I got so sick of it. I used diesel 911 to get me out of a pickle. Um, I got lucky twice. I will say that. I got lucky twice in that year. Diesel 911 saved me drastically. So what you have to do when you get gelled, we're going to cover that first. What you have to do when you get gelled up is you're going to pull your fuel filters off. You're going to throw the, the anti-gel, the diesel. We use diesel 911. You're going to use that. You're going to put that in your fuel filter. You're going to put your fuel filter back on, and then you're going to also add it back to your fuel tank. Now you're gonna give it some time, you're gonna let it do its thing because you need to let the degelling process, you could say, happen. Now what is gelling, right? That's the next thing I wanna cover real quickly here before we talk about the other aspects of what happened in my previous experiences. What is gelling? Well, gelling in, in diesel fuel, there's a, there's a chemical. You're not, when you gel up, you don't gel up and you don't have like a frozen tank. Your lines aren't completely frozen. The reason why it's called gel. Now here it is, I'm gonna use a graphic here for you guys while I talk about this. Now in the graphic, you see that's really jelly, um, but you also see that's pretty liquidy. Now that is because there's a wax crystal in diesel fuel. That wax crystal, they get really, 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 really crystallized. Now, and able to get that ungelled, that's when you start getting into shots diesel winter rescue. Um, there's all sorts of other things that you can use. In my experience, I used diesel 911 and it worked out great for me. Now the problem is, is in our fuel system, when you're gelling, you know that your injector ports, um, your fuel rail, all that stuff, your filters, your lines, they're not necessarily large, you know? Like you can't just expect to get, okay, well it's a little gelled, but I think I can run it. No, if you gel up, the second you gel up and it's cold out and you think that you gelled up, you, you could probably start driving down the road a little bit, but you're not gonna get far and as soon as it gets to your injectors and as soon as it gets to the real heart of your fuel system, you're gonna run into issues and your truck's gonna shut off on you. Now, diesel 911 worked great for me. I have not thankfully had to use this at all from Hot Shot Secret, um, the diesel winter rescue. I am glad I haven't had to use it, but simply you're gonna pour it in your fuel filter, you're gonna pour it in your fuel tank, you're gonna go ahead, let it do its thing, let it run its course. It will take a little bit, but as long as it's not crazy cold out, you should be able to get rescued as to what they call it. Um, you should be able to be set on that way. Now I would not, I would suggest you replace that fuel filter. Um, you can run that fuel. You don't have to drain your tank, get all new, all new fuel once you gel up. That's not something you have to absolutely 100% do. I've actually heard of people doing that, which to me is kind of crazy because that's insane. Because if you, if you think about it, that paraffin, once that paraffin gets back to the temperature it needs to be to not be crystallized, 
it's the degelling process is going to start. So why would you empty your fuel tank and waste all that money? Because we know right now how much fuel talk the fuel cost is. It's it's insane. Um, when a simple additive can get you back to what you need to be. Now, like I said, I would change your fuel filter as soon as after you gelled, um, but the fuel, you can run it, it's gonna be fine. But anyways, when it comes to getting gelled, it is a pain because unfortunately, I did have a time where I had to get towed back to my house, I had to get tarps underneath, I had to get that heater up, that propane heater underneath it, and get it heated up. I know people watching, know there's a lot of other people out there that have had that same exact issue, and it is a pain. It is not something you want to do deal with, because just trust me, you don't want to do it. Now, the nice thing about the Winter Rescue is it will de-ice your fuel filters. It will get rid of all the moisture in the fuel that there is because when you do gel, moisture does play an effect. That doesn't mean that moisture got into your fuel system. That is one reason why we have water separators in our filter system um, because pretty much, unfortunately, every time you fuel up, there's probably water in that fuel. So make sure you're paying attention to your filter changes and everything like that. Whether you have a fast air dog or a factory fuel filter system, I would highly suggest you take care of that. Again, like I said, this is just a rescue. You do not use this every day. It does work in biodiesel. So the new truck owners that you guys have, if you're watching this and you have a new winter tr diesel truck, it does work with biodiesels and also any other diesel engine. It'll work in skid steer engines. It'll work in tractor engines. It'll work in, I mean, boom lift engines. Anything that's got a diesel engine in it, this will work for it. So just keep that in mind. Now, how do you prevent that, right? How do we prevent anti-gelling? Well, that's what this is here, right here. That's what this is for you. Now, why do I have this? I used house, didn't work out for me. I used diesel 911. It worked decent for me. I gelled up one year. The reason why I switched to hot shots from kerosene is because they offer lubricity with this. But I can tell you right now, the hot shots secret stuff is just absolutely outstanding you can't go wrong with it i mean seriously it is just good stuff now i'm not saying that because i do have a coupon code with them you know i consider technically an ambassador with them but i'm not saying that just because i'm this isn't a paid sponsorship i got i use this i bought this with my own money i've used other stuff in the past I do have a 10% discount code with them. I'll leave that link in the description below. I'll leave that in the description below if you want it. Um, you don't have to use it. I don't get any benefit from you guys using it. I use it. If I don't use it, I don't use it. If you use it, good. You get 10% off. I would suggest using it. If you don't have a code already from somebody else, I would suggest using it because, hey, 10% is 10%. But the reason why I went to this is because they make some pretty serious claims. Um, they claim that it, goes, that it takes your 20 degrees... Fahrenheit down to negative 40 degrees. So that paraffin starts to crystallize at, at 20 degrees, right? They make a claim that it goes down to negative 40 degrees. I have never gotten that cold to be able to test that, but I trust them on that. You know, it's a tried and true product. It's an absolute outstanding product. You can't go wrong with it. But the biggest reason why I switched to them is because they have EDT in it. Having EDT with this is outstanding. Um, I, I, I run EDT every single day. That is not winter. Now, after winter, because over in the springtime, I run EDT and LX4. I add that extra LX4 just because it kind of cleans your fuel system a little bit more. I don't necessarily trust what the gas stations put in their fuel to claim that it's a anti-gel fuel, I, I don't trust it. So that's why I kind of run an extra LX4 every spring, every fill up for probably about a month and a half, two months. After that, I just run EDT every single fill up. And then when we start getting to the, to those temperatures of 20 degrees, typically, as soon as I see that 30 degrees, 30 degree high, which is typically a low of 20, 15, 25, depending on the day and the, the moisture in the air, that's when I start adding this and I get rid of my EDT. Now, EDT, that's a whole nother video. Actual regular fuel added is a whole nother video. That's why I wanted to focus on this so that I keep it minimal for you guys so you can watch this, get slightly educated. The one thing I will point out before we go absolutely anywhere is, is wind chill. Please, 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 please understand that wind chill does not affect your ambient air temperature and it will not affect your fuel gelling. So keep that in mind. The wind chill does not affect your gelling process. It, it doesn't affect it whatsoever, all right? 
Um, I know a lot of people talk about their windshield because you want to brag. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on and why on the forums and why other people talk about like, oh, it's it's negative 65 degrees. Well, that's with windshield. Oh, it's negative 20 degrees. Oh, well, that's windshield. Oh, it's 10 degrees. Oh, well, it's actually 25, 30 degrees, but there's 25 mile an hour winds. That doesn't matter. <laughs> like so just keep that in mind the key points of this video is simply the chemical paraffin with which is with paraffin paraffin i'm probably not saying it right that is within the diesel fuel that's what crystallizes and gels your fuel system that's the key component to making sure that you don't gel and that is this is going to help you out a lot there are many other products out there that will help but i from my personal experiences the hot shot secret has been the best for me and i've had no issues with it knock on wood at all i had good luck with kerosene i don't remember the mixture so make sure you guys remember remember that that the wind chill doesn't matter it's all about ambient temperature and that the chemical within the diesel fuel is freezing up and and starting those wax crystals not necessarily you have a block of ice of fuel like i said i would highly suggest you have some type of diesel winter fuel rescue in your truck at all times if you deal with those low temperatures it's a very important thing as well as keeping up on your fuel fuel additives and your fuel filter changes. Your maintenance is important, you guys. The more maintenance you do on your truck, the more on top of it you are, the better you're going to be in the long run and the better these trucks are going to last. That being said, make sure you guys have yourselves a great night. Thank you for watching this video, even though it was just me sitting here. Um, I really appreciate it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.